الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mal here. The package that I have been waiting for patiently is finally here. Sitting right before me is the newest Holy Bro Coppice 1 FPV racing quadcopter. This quadcopter definitely is making a wave and a lot of people who reviewed it are talking good about it. So I can't wait to see how good it is. Now no doubt that Holy Bro is putting together quality components and offering quality FPV racing quadcopters. Previously I have been flying a Holy Bro Shuriken X1 for almost a year. I've crashed it in the desert, sent all over motors or inside motors even, but the quadcopter is still flying without any flaws. That was one of the best FPV racing quadcopters when it comes two quadcopters or FPV racing quadcopters that are completely build, bind and fly. Not many of the companies are actually offering that good quadcopters like Holy Bro here. So let's unpack the Holy Bro Coppice 1 and see what's inside the box. Inside the main box you have this amazing nice carrying case that actually houses your Holy Bro Coppice 1 and makes it very very easy for you to transport, store and carry it around your favorite FPV racing quadcopter. I really hope they could release a box that would not only house the quadcopter but also carry your radio control, video goggles and batteries and some tools. Here it is, this is how your Holy Bro Coppice 1 is packed neatly inside the box. There is a strap, a velcro strap that actually holds your quadcopter really nice and prevents it from moving inside the box and getting damaged. Very, very nice. So this is your Holy Bro Coppice 1. We'll take a closer look very, very soon. And apart from that, you also have some accessories. You have a GoPro session mount. You have one more set of propellers, two brochures that actually show more uh, Holy Bro products and of course the components of your Holy Bro Coppice 1. And then finally, we have this bag which has a bit more accessories. Let me just bring them out. As Hollybrook Coppice 1 is using Runcam Swift Mini Camera, 600 TV line FPV camera. So you, have a, so you have a user manual for your FPV camera and you also have an OSD controller for your FPV camera so you can connect it and you know tweak the settings of your FPV camera. Then you have a Holy Bro uh, Velcro strap, you have some double-sided tape, double-sided foam and some of the uh, and some of the rings and Jesus clips. <laughs> you know why we call them Jesus clips. When you're trying to put them on, it's like, Boing! and you're like, Jesus, where did it go? And you cannot find it. That's why we call them Jesus clips. Anyway, then we have some zip ties, four zip ties, heat shrinking tube, a hex head driver, a battery pad, and a Holy Bro card that shows you the frequency table for your video transmitter of Holy Bro's Coppice One. Alright, we are taking a closer look at the Holy Bro Coppice 1 FPV racing quadcopter. First thing that you will notice is the stretched X motor layout. That is a choice of a top FPV racing pilot these days because this ensures that your rear motors or rear propellers are not getting any prop wash from the front motors. This gives you smoother flight, more speed and tight cornering or more efficient cornering when it comes to FPV racing. It seems like that most of the FPV racing quadcopter manufacturers are now switching to this stretched X motor layout. Holy Bro Coppice is using Tiger Motors Air 40 2450kV motors that gives you better flight performance and also go very easy on your batteries. This is a very good choice of motors Holy Bro right here and trust me these motors are not cheap. Holy Bro Coppice is using a 3K carbon fiber 5mm FPV racing frame which is definitely tough enough to take all your crashes with a smile. And also if you look at the edges on the carbon fiber here, you can see they are beveled out. Inside here, the heart and soul is a KQ F4 flight controller, which is a soft mounted gyro for great filtering of the vibration, thus providing you even better flight controls. The Beta Flight OSD is included in this package, so you can easily see everything all the flight data while you're flying it. Not only that, you can use your radio and sticks only to configure various parameters and PIDs 
of your quadcopters now that is very very convenient because you do not need to come back home and connect your quadcopter to a computer and tweak PIDs now you can tweak PIDs right there on the field using your radio sticks and OST built in here at the back side of the quadcopter you can see the LED board and a beeper and of course you can also see the choice of antenna position this time or the placement of the antenna is right at the back in between these two arms under the propellers the video transmitter in this quadcopter is switchable for its power for 15, 25, 100, 200, 400 and a maximum of 600 milliwatt. So you can easily set the power of your video transmission, the output power of your video transmitter according to rules and regulations of your country or according to the rules and regulations of your FPV racing contest. Now if you are wondering how do you change the or switch the power of your video transmitter because you will not be able to find any kind of buttons to select the frequency or to switch the frequencies and bands or change the power of your video transmitter well this is all done once again using your OSD and radio control sticks so everything is very very simple just put on your FPV video goggles turn on your quadcopter and using the OSD built in this quadcopter you just have to use your radio and control sticks to switch various parameters PIDs of the quadcopter including switching the power of your video transmitter no more clicking the buttons no more connecting your quadcopter to the computer as I have mentioned the FPV camera is a run cam swift mini 600 TV line FPV camera which is again is a quality component and the choice of most of the FPV pilots. On the top at the moment there's nothing but you can easily use the supplied GoPro session mount which I'm gonna do and install my Runcam 3 right here on top so we can shoot some HD footage while I fly it. And your battery goes on the bottom it will take 4s 1500 million batteries but I believe it will take a 4s 2200 million battery just fine however that will make the quadcopter a little heavy but I am willing to experiment and see what kind of flight performance and flight time we will get using a 2200 milliamp 4S racing series batteries from Vacans Power. This surely looks like a well thought and well designed FPV racing quadcopter with a very good choice of hardware and FPV component. Build quality looks very very good. Everything is very neat and clean. No noodles are running around here and there. It is a very neat and clean build. Now the next step for me is to configure it with my radio control that Free Sky Tyrannis. Batteries are fully charged. Why not we bring it out for a spin this afternoon right away. <laughs> See full throttle. Okay, here we go. still flying and run came swift mini is actually still giving me a very bright nice clear picture amazing man this is nice loving the coppice one come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button